Very nice. Well, gracias. Oh, no. Yeah, well, the end of another very, uh, very transformative boot camp, actually, hasn't it? For, um, some of the, for some of these dudes. I mean, some of the reactions were, were interesting. It was a real motley crew of people this time around. In a good way, we had some very kind of high rollers. Yeah. Um, Without naming models. names and some uh, some some guys, you know, who are just kind of fighting them, that their, their feet as men and, and leveling up, and yeah, it's, it's been an interesting it was, experience. It, it was funny because when we came into this, you know, when we were looking at the lineup, we were thinking it was a really diverse sort of group of guys here. We were kind of thinking, how's this, maybe how's this going to work, or is everyone going to gel together? But actually, it seems pretty much everyone got on really well, didn't they? And kind of just got on got on with it, which is good. Well, men men were over stress, right? So we have the deepest bonds from a scientific point of view on men that go to war together. Yeah. And you can liken this in some ways, a bit like going to war. You know, it, it really is. There's a lot of resistance to obviously approaching women. I, I genuinely think it's one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. And that part of self-mastery is, is actually the ability to just relentlessly face your fear and run up to women and flirt and banter. It's, it's a, a battle that when you reset every day and there's no, you have to go again and again and again. Yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. It's stressful and these guys bond over that. So yeah. it doesn't really matter their age, creed, colour, background. Mm. They find that common ground, don't they? To, yeah. To kind of bond over. Well, I mean, there's a couple of things I found that people really bond over. One of them actually is, is, is drinking, which is not the healthiest kind of thing. But you can really, you, you, well, you feel like you're bonded with somebody over drinking, but then do you really? Because the next day it's like, oh, we're going to be great mates, we're going to do this, blah, blah, blah. Then the next day you don't see each other. Well, the fascinating so, thing is, since I've actually cut down drinking the last three months, a lot of guys who I thought I was really good mates with, I've, I've, met, away. I've, I've met sober and I've been like, right, I'm not spending time yeah, with this yeah, guy yeah, yeah. But, um, the other thing that I found to be a really bonding experience is, is going out and beating women together and going, going with that challenge, you know. And um, I think that's why these uh, these boot camps and this edge program that we're doing in general is is so powerful. I mean, one of the aspects of it is community. Like just having a group of guys. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? And um, as I say, as you said, I mean, like a group of guys, very diverse sort of backgrounds, diverse sort of like social, where, you know, where they are in their life and everything else. And um, you know, but with one common goal, which is really a self-improvement. I mean, obviously, yeah, we're here because it's, you know, we're tracing women. It's not and, really you know. about getting laid. So I mm. had it just recently in a session with Natty, one of the guys we're filming it on the Harriers journey. And it, he had a lot of resistance to being thrown in today. And a couple of times he froze. I literally had to physically throw him in. Yeah. And he took the shot and the girl just didn't really go anywhere with the girl, but he came out elated. And I was like, why do you feel elated? He goes, because I've realized it's not even about the end result, it's about me mastering myself. Yeah. And mastering that first part of the equation, which is social freedom. Yes. It's just being able to take control of my life and be social. Absolutely, so yeah. So it's, it's not about the end result, it's about the action. Yeah, And yeah. about, you know, Thank take, you. take the shot. And that's where half the battle is. You know, starting to consistently take the shot with the social freedom, and then you start leveling it up. Yeah. With the actual flirting and bantering and teasing and all that bullshit. Because most people are, we are atomized as a society, and increasingly so. You know, we're all sitting at home, you know, on our phones, on our computers, whatever. Well, we're the loneliest, but, you know, in, in terms of, they've, they've done studies, in terms of depression rates linked to loneliness, we're the most digitally connected we've ever been in historical times, and yet we're the loneliest we've ever been. In yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, there's, there's such a lot to this, because, I mean, like um, Torero used to say, I mean, the, the, the sort of, the, tr the carrot that draws people in is, I want to be girls, I want to be women, I want to have a great dating life, which is obviously, yeah, that's important, but, it, but, but then you discover the journey of self-improvement, which is what this is really about. It's really the man that's created from all this that is yeah. the end result, and not just banging a few women. We think it's getting into this, banging a few hot girls and our lives are complete. It's not at all. It's like Terraria you said, but it's a Trojan horse. Yeah. It's a self-development, really. It's yeah. never about the women, never has been. It's about you levelling up as a man. And one of the toughest things you can do is fly to a foreign country um, and, and just get stuck in, right? And actually just face your fear. And these guys have done really well, and a few of them, yeah. Really emotional, kind of. Yeah, well, I mean, one of the guys, and he may, we maybe he'll film this at some point, I'm not sure, but he literally said this was like dying and being reborn again, which is quite a sort of, it's a very powerful thing to, to say, it's a very powerful way of putting it, but I mean, it is literally like shedding his skin and becoming like a new person. Um, you know, and I, I think sometimes we like, 
because we've been in, in this industry for a long time and we've been doing this stuff for a long time but we don't realize actually the transformative power of what we're doing we forget yeah. don't we yeah very and, and obviously, all, all, obviously bringing the other guys put apart is has been here the resident sex coach he's been phenomenal as usual with the guys yeah giving them lots of free value leveling them up sexually uh, eliminating our sexual shame which goes hand in hand with what we do because mm. if they can take action to be social but at the same time they're kind of conquering their fears sexually yeah it's amazing it's a, it's a great combination it, yeah i think it's essential because like what you'll get with there's certain guys on the boot camp who are they're, they're ticking most of the boxes. There we go, the old favourite. Yeah. Max, Max. Are you going to take, take a photo for Max? you going to show Max. Max, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, that looks really good, doesn't it? But yeah, I mean, it, it's... Uh, yeah, the other thing as well, the old, the, the old worn saying, but you don't know what you don't know. There's so many people who, they, they don't, they're not getting the results that they want, but they don't know what they need to do in order to get there, you know? Um, and, and that's where we come in. But there, I was going to say, there are people on, the, on this course who are very high value. I mean, really ticking all of the boxes that society will tell you you need in order to, you know, to be attractive and to be successful in dating. And they're still not getting the results that they should be getting. So... It, it, it's it's not enough, unfortunately. It sounds ridiculous, but it's it's not enough just to be externally successful. You need the mindset stuff as well. You know, you, you know, to coin a phrase, you need the you need the edge, don't you? I agree. And fascinating, even one of the guys we met yesterday, who's you know operates in a high circle, successful. Well, he was telling us some stories about very well established, you know famous dudes who set up massive massive you know worldwide famous companies who just get absolutely taken to the cleaners by just ratchet ugly you know kind of americanized masculine women right it's just yeah. unreal when you think about it right dudes worth hundreds and hundreds of millions yeah and they can't pull a muscle yeah yeah so what alpha is and confidence does not translate necessarily from a business setting to a social setting or a sexual setting you have to go through the ropes, you have to learn the process, you can't shortcut it, you have to put the reps in, you have to go through the blood, sweat, tears, the emotional pain of getting, feeling it out, getting rejected, but all that social freedom, developing flirt, flirting, banter skills. Yeah. But it is, the beautiful thing is, we're very lucky as men because it is learnable and there's no excuse not to level up. Mm. The hero's journey is the only way, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. That's so good, isn't it? I forgot how good this thing was. It's really good. Addictive. Definitely not healthy, but whatever. Healthier than the devil's dander, I find, by the way. Well, probably, yeah. Well, maybe, actually, maybe not. Because the devil's dander, I can't really say. At least you lose weight, well, theoretically. I mean, I don't know, I'd be quite hungry, though. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Mm. What's this stuff? Um, so, yeah, the edge continues for another six weeks or so. We give these guys more accountability. And then we see, you know, where the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, I've noticed an underlying theme, though, from a lot of a lot of guys on this boot camp, which an underlying theme of actually just needing to sort out the basics of, being, of, of eliminating social anxiety and just being comfortable internally because yeah. you know this energy they carry a lot of these dudes is quite anxious and so yeah. it doesn't matter you can have the best, best life in the world but that's going to transmute the girl when she's going to feel uncomfortable right yeah another thing that I've noticed is that I think a lot of guys stand in their own way you know yeah. because they, they they do have value we but talking. they're just not and maybe we've maybe we're all guilty of this to some extent you know they thank you do you want this one? oh god they do they do have value but they're just not comfortable with um, expressing it, or they, or they're, they're not aware of it, or they're not aware of their relative, actual relative value. Well, especially compared to like you know, as hot as these women are in Colombia, let's be frank, most of these men are at high value because they've got more, more money, they're more intelligent, they're as good looking, you know, on a comparative level. They've got the bands, they've got the charm, they've got the wit, and it's like, but the, the lack of self-belief. Yeah. Because women will literally just take you at, at face value as you see yourself. So if you're lacking self-belief, 
it's the state of mind thing from Hartis, isn't it? You've got to cultivate this almost cult tactical narcissism mm. and show to her that you think you're the shit. Because if you don't, she won't think you're the shit, and then that's it. She has to think you're better than her. Yeah, and show I, that you're better than her. But it, it, it's kind of ridiculous when you think about it that we've got guys doing multi, multi million dollar deals, like you know, five hundred million dollar deals, or you know, who. Not that, you know, the individual I have in mind, you know, not that he's, um... How does his date go today, actually? Uh, Sorry? How does his date go today? We'll find out later. But, you know, um, he, he's, he's still, he still needs work in this area. 100%. You know what I mean? And it's like, um, it's really, it's really counterintuitive. People don't understand outside what, these are very specific skill sets, a very specific dynamic that you really have to understand. I mean, the good thing is, you know, we're some of the last men standing, really, aren't we? In this whole, this well, whole industry. Well, it, <laughs> it seems to be just me. <laughs> you play your cards wrong. It seems to be just me. No, I don't. I don't. I don't mean in terms of like marriage or anything like that, or relationships. I just mean in terms of understanding this stuff and actually and, and going and teaching. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of the old. I mean, if you look, because we, we've sort of traversed the gap between the in England anyway. You know, the old school guys and whatever the new school is. But there isn't really a new school, is there? There's, there's us. That's it. There's us who, who are out and about and, and doing it and teaching it. And then there's um, a lot of people who basically do podcasts. And sit with their proverbial and metaphorical and physical dicks in their hands, yeah. Mm. It's true. Um, there's nothing, it's actually quite a satisfying experience being in a place with a group of guys, helping them level up. We're obviously approaching having fun as well, going on dates. And we're seeing this group of men level up. and. It used to be about, you know, just do day game and kind of fake your value, but now we're really coming at it from this holistic lens of level up as men across the board, you know, max everything out, and I really like this approach that we're taking because it shows that social skills is one string of bow, but it's not the bow. And if you're not leveling up the other areas, in 2024 in the digital global dating market, you're fucked. There's nowhere to hide, you have to level up. So, I mean, I suppose the, the age-old question is, is there a conspiracy against masculinity? I mean, why is... In why the is, sphere, yeah. Why is masculinity so... Because a lot of the stuff that that we're teaching, and I mean, God knows, I never, in a million years, would have thought I would be, become a sort of a quasi-masculinity coach. But I mean, I mean, a lot of the stuff we're teaching, really, is just, it's just the old-school way of being, isn't it? The you classification know. of the West is real. And I'm not saying we're hard nuts by any means, but yeah, it's about basically manning up a bit, most of this. Getting these guys, most of these guys turn up looking like shit, fashion-wise. No style, no grooming. Not even wearing deodorant or aftershave, don't even know what that is. Yeah. It's almost like we're kind of playing that surrogate big brother role. Yeah. And, and just dress, getting them dressed, right? Sending them in to be social, pushing them, you know, from a position of compassion and love. And uh, being honest with them, giving them some honest feedback. And they, they, you can, I think they can sense that we're trying to be genuine. Yeah. And they, they, they respect it, and uh, like we said a couple of times, a couple of guys basically almost broke down in the yeah. debriefs. And I think, like, this I meant think... so much to me, thank you so much. Yeah. Because they can see that we're actually trying to help them as opposed to just fucking... And one guy even said, because he'd be, been at a different boot camp, and he goes, man, this is totally different, because you guys actually give a fuck. And the rate, you're not trying to rip us off, because the ratios are actually like, two students to one coach, you have ten blokes in the room doing fuck all. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's... Kind of back to us, I guess. It's it's a good, we're, doing, right. we're fighting the good fight. It's a good testament, but we are try, just trying to. We are genuinely trying to help these guys, and we are genuinely. Wait, my, my, you know, my, my devil's andraff addiction is through the roof, and even in Colombia, my devil's andraff addiction is through the roof. And even in Colombia, it's cost me hundreds of hundreds of pounds a day to fund it, so I need them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So there's, you know, <laughs> there's that as well, but. Um, yeah, man, that's that's like that's like ninety five percent of the profit gone, isn't it? Really, basically. Um, I don't overpriced cameraman. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, we're genuinely trying to help them, and we are also genuinely teaching them the stuff that we know to work. Right? It's not like we're. It's, well, it's not like we're keeping back the secret sauce. It's like we're giving we're giving, giving them the keys away. to the kingdom. We are literally giving them the keys to the kingdom, and the, and the thing is. When people who take it on board and they actually do the stuff, you know, they do the suggested steps, get results. I mean, look at look at our doctor friend last night. He was out with that girl. She's pretty, you know, pretty attractive. Um, you know, I mean, he, a lot of people have their own unique issues, right? Some people are quite, quite socially awkward. You know, they might be very intelligent, 
decent job, decent looking, but they've got that real social awkwardness. So with some clients, we have to really work on that and just get them to really loosen up. And I mean, you know, if you if you look at him, I mean, like you know, then he ends up in a, on a date with a really cute blonde girl last night. I mean, brilliant, you know. Would he, have, would he have done that six months ago when we were working with him before? Probably not. What it's made me realise is though, so the, so the nine day difference between people, clients who are kind of pay lip service to pro, process. So we've got a number of guys we're on the Edge programme, which is a remote course that only costs five, seven, nine pounds, the Edge three. There's a number of clients doing that. And let's be honest, they're just paying lip service because they're not actually doing anything. They're sitting with their dicks in their hand in London, doing fuck all, just victiming it. You know, you know the guys that have come here, I respect more because they're putting it on the line, they're realising, right, I can't do this on my own. Yeah, I yeah. need some actual hand, hands-on advice. Yeah. And they're, they're stepping up. You know? Yeah, yeah. And look, I mean, by all means, I mean, doing the online course, 100% valuable. You know, we're doing, uh, we've we sort of paused the webinars for the last, for the last week or so because we do this. But we've the actually web got a webinar, I think, Wednesday. Okay, so, yeah, so, fashion. Yeah, so the live webinars will, will commence again. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be on board and we'll be, you know, teaching stuff, we've got experts in like Jack, who's our tailor, he's going to be talking about men's style and so on and so forth, but lots of other different things coming up. And yeah, of course, 100% worthwhile to, to just be on that online course, but but ultimately, it, it's a it's a skill set that is, you know, you, you can't learn to play golf without actually picking up a golf club and hitting some balls around you, you know. It's experiential just, learning, you've yeah. got to be in, in the field as they say. Yeah. You know. So, you know, and, and the guys that have actually stepped up, we've had some really late people who signed up, literally, you know, from the USA, who literally, like, last week said, oh, I see you got the boot camp, yeah, let, let, let me sign up, you know, immediately. Just made that decision because they saw that it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, you, 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 you've got to help yourself with this stuff, haven't you? What, you do, know, you, it, it's, what do you think, I agree, um, just to interlude slightly on a different segue, what do you think the common theme that guys need to work on from seeing on the boot camp has been? Because I think there's probably a couple of threads that run through it all that all of the guys need to level up in. So, I mean, from your anything that stands out? Well, I think, you know, firstly, improve, doing, doing whatever it takes to improve your own value, and that's something for all of us. So that's one thing. But then, at the same time, being confident in the inherent value that you already have and work, walking into a room and kind of owning it, right? And, you know, we've talked a lot this weekend about delusional self-confidence. You know, just going in as if you are the shit, because how you present, and this is just kind of mindset stuff really, but how you present is so often just how people are gonna take you. And a lot of the guys, they do actually have value, but they're not presenting it. You know, like we say, it's with the, the game bit is the marketing. And the product, their products themselves, they may be really good, but they're not marketing it correctly. So women are just not, you know, well, taking them seriously. Yeah, the other thing that I've seen, um, it's not everyone, but I've seen a very common theme of a lot of in, a lot of uh, anxiety, yes. generalized internalized anxiety. And I think there's a lot of guys with this kind of ruminating brain and, and not being present, worrying about this, being stuck in the head, the Eckhart Tolle thing. And sending them a, a, a short video basically explaining the Eckhart Tolle kind of paradigm is you're not your thoughts, you're not your emotions, you're just going to buy something. Yeah. And uh, giving them... Giving them... Uh, uh, giving them breath work to, uh, you know, to come back to the present. Yeah. You know, focusing on that, so, so getting rid of the this inherent internal anxiety. Tienes uh, Sanacha. He and um, the other thing I've noticed is it's just a lack of being social, generally speaking. They need to learn these guys, and we all do, to flirt with the world. Yeah. And banter every day, non-negotiable. Walk out of the house, go and speak to some people. Right. Men operate from values, children, and women operate from feeling so it doesn't matter if you don't feel like being social you fucking be social yeah. just fucking talk to people yeah. and not yeah. every day and then by doing like that you will level up it's that simple yeah I think it's like you know like, like with anything and we've been talking about this a lot recently you've got to just do like you said you've got to do the actions regardless of how you feel yes um, and it's exactly the same with social skills. It's like going to the gym, it's like learning to play a musical instrument, it's like building a business, it's like all of these different things. You know, ultimately, if you don't do anything, it's not going to happen. You can't so, think your way to victory, yeah. God, it's been, yeah, thinking about some of the things that have gone down. I forgot about Mr. D as well. Him coming in, rolling in day oh. one, his hot shenanigans, then fucking off. I mean, yeah, it's been all, <laughs> there's been some absolute characters on this boot camp. 
Absolute characters. Maybe just pause it now while we eat this.